Hello, greetings. Uh, this is me again, Zahra Jawad, a former Shia. So I was uh, contemplating on the Quran ayats as well as uh, remembered what Imam Hussain, we are told, had said that if you do not believe in God and the hereafter, at least be free in this world. So I remembered the saying of Imam Hussain. And now after reading the Quran ayats in Surah Fat about against the Badoans, and if you if you do not believe, uh, there's a, a fear cast in us, in uh, blazing fire awaits us. If you do not believe in Allah and uh, the Messenger, thirteen ayat thirteen of uh, Surah Fat. And here, uh, the Badoans are blamed for changing the word of Allah. Uh, which uh, surah is this now? Oh, I'm looking for it. So after uh, going, uh, rather you envy us. Uh, so you see, I feel that uh, before finding this, I'm going to find this verse where it said that uh, they changed the, this is verse uh, 15 of Surah Fat. Now look at this. When I told my father that I had seen Imam Raza in my dream, and he said, you know who I am, I can change the word of the Qur'an, right? He lost his school there and then and said, no way can our Imams do this, not, not the word of the Qur'an. And I said, what can I do? I, there must be something high, higher, uh, high kind of knowledge they have. No, no, they, the Qur'an is uh, the fountainhead. They are not above the Qur'an. They can't change the word of God. This is the word of God. So you see here we are told in Surah Fat, verse 15, those who remain behind will say, when you set out toward the war booty to take it, let us follow you. They wish to change the words of Allah. Say, never will you follow us. Thus did Allah say before. Thus did Allah say before. So they will say, rather, you envy us, rather you envy us. But in fact, they were not understanding, except a little. This is Quran.com, Surah Fat, Ayat, uh, Ayat 15. This is uh, from the art and Imam Hussain saying, is there? You can see the MuslimVibe.com slash faith dash islam and can't uh, so uh, this is this is the site i hope i'm not infringing upon the copyrights issues here a uh, copyrights of this uh, website so you see now i feel that these umayyads yazid ibn mawiya it's written here, cornered him, finally cornered Prophet Muhammad's grandson to say what they had allowed, what their forefathers had allowed long time ago, before the advent of Islam. And this Muhammad, messenger of Allah coming and destroying the peace of mind and all this. So you can see the um, uh, what the Shias have missed in Surah Fat. And then they give you this, my own Shias, Imam Hussain's. So you can contemplate, is, is this, you see here I feel Yazid versus Imam Hussain. Or Imam Hussain, the grandson of Prophet Muhammad versus Yazid, case reopened. And you'll see the tables have turned. I will show you. So uh, it's uh, very heavy on my heart. I keep going through my own uh, videos, audios. Uh, and, you know, I repeat what I'm saying. Sometimes, like, a shocking thing comes out in this talk of mine on Islam or against Islam in the Quran. So it's very heavy on my soul, my heart, everything. I can't believe that I have to do this, though, 
to save you Shias also out of this religion, get you out. I'm not casting fear like Prophet Muhammad did. So you see how can finally Yazid got Imam Hussain. Read between my lines, like you know what I mean. And you can also use I. There may be other verses I don't remember. Surah Fat. We'll just take the Surah Fat ayat and go into detail later on in another video. I'm so overwhelmed. Like how can how can you see if you do not believe in God? Okay, here with Imam Hussain. Arguable. Uh, so I can't read the, what this uh, article that is written because I will not be able to put it under the comment section of the video. Imam Hussain, I remember uh, the saying is all around, um, and it's uh, been attributed to Imam Hussain. If you do not believe in God and the hereafter, what does the Quran say? What do the Imam say? What what last night? What did I show you when I uploaded that video? That it is a disease, right? To not believe in God and the hereafter and all these messengers. It is a disease to not believe in God and to doubt the existence of God. So this means that here, oh my God, finally, uh, the truth seekers, one Yazid and. Abu Sufyan, what the Umayyads, and Abu Lahab, and Abu Jahal. That we have considered cursing and wrong, who were, and Abu Sufyan also, although the Sunnis say that he joined Islam, we say through the all the research and all this, that uh, he remained a pagan Arab idol worshipper. He never embraced Islam at his heart. So, that's why Mawiya and Imam Ali had this problem, wars and all also. You can read uh, Najul and uh, Najul Balagha. Okay, so I think for now, the introduction by Imam Hussain versus Yazid and Bani Hashim versus the Bani Umayya is enough. I'll end for me too. I'll continue later. I'm too overwhelmed.